Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is another installment of Weird Wednesdays. Uh, kind of a good one. Uh, do you guys believe in ghosts? If so, this isn't really about ghosts per se. Uh, this particular one is about something attached to an object. The object in this case being a pair of cowboy boots. I know it's, I wouldn't have thought anything possible like this. Still don't know what the whole thing about it was, but let me talk to you about it and we can get your take on what you think uh, was going on there. Years back, I bought a pair of cowboy boots. Well, actually I bought quite a few pairs of cowboy boots, enough so that I actually made a hanging rack for the bedroom uh, in order to hold the things up so that you don't get creases. Sometimes with cowboy boots, when they just sit right here, the uppers will get loose and they'll fold over and you'll get lines in your boots. The rack that I made, and I'll have a picture of it later in the video, actually holds the boots by the loops at the top and holds them up and prevents that from happening so your boots stay in much better condition. The particular rack that I built would hold eight pairs of cowboy boots. And I'm almost ashamed to say it, but it was filled up. We had all eight pairs, plus a few extra to add in a closet. But I would buy boots at yard sales. I'd buy them if they're on sale. Uh, had a fairly decent collection of them. Uh, wore, them wore some of them for different things. Uh, others didn't wear so much. But if I found some that would fit and were comfortable, I would wear them, then maybe pass them on at a yard sale and just keep replenishing the stock. Well, I went and found a pair of boots at one particular yard estate sale. Uh, apparently, the individual, the, the man that lived there, had passed away. And his family, they were selling some of his clothing, uh, some of his articles. There was a pair of cowboy boots that were there. Well, I looked, they, it was my size in the boots. They were in pretty good shape. They didn't want a whole lot of money for them. I thought, fine, I'll take them. So I purchased them, brought them home, put them up on the rack. And it's kind of important to the story that I put them up on the second level of the rack. And the hooks, and I will show you a little bit more in detail, but the hooks actually came in and would hook around like this so it was it would really hold them good it was screw in uh eye hooks and or well, not an eye but like a, a j hook and it would hold it like so so you had to actually when you put them on there you had to kind of bring them up put them down on the hook and let them come down so that they would hang right there in the center well i did that all was well for maybe a week and a half or so. And then one morning I woke up, was getting ready to go to work. I got up out of bed, was walking uh, from the bed to the door to go to the bathroom. And I tripped over something right in the middle of the bedroom floor. Like, what is that? So flipped the light on and looked and one of those cowboy boots had been sitting right exactly in the middle of the floor in our bedroom. When I went to bed that night, all the boots were on the rack. I wake up the next morning, one boot is down in the middle of the floor, and I want to say it was the right hand boot, which would have been the right foot boot, was in the floor. The left boot was only on there, was only hanging by one of those hooks. It had come off the other hook and was just hanging at an angle. To say it was odd would be an understatement. I mean, went to bed, everything's fine, all the boots on the rack. Get up the next morning, the boots have moved by themselves. Nobody was in and out, you know, don't sleepwalk. My wife at the time didn't sleepwalk. Uh, we can, and that was an odd place to have one boot in the center of the floor, one still kind of hanging on the rack. Picked it up, thought how odd. 
still, I still can't tell you how that happened. Who knows? I mean, it was up. Uh, they were above the floor a good two and a half feet to 30 inches. So it wasn't like one of the little Shih Tzu dogs we had could have got under it and lifted it up and it fell and then moved it. Because A, they went in uh, kennels at night. They weren't running around loose in the bedroom anyway. The bedroom door was shut. We didn't have a cat uh, in the house. I mean, it, who knows what happened, but very, very odd. Put it back on the rack. Uh, well, okay. You know, just chalked it up to one of those weird things. About a week or so later, it happened a second time. Now, the boot hadn't made it all the way to the center of the floor, but the right-hand boot was off the rack, was about two feet in front of the boot rack. The other one was, again, hanging by one strap on there. Thought, okay, this is starting to get bizarre beyond consequence. And it was only that one pair of boots that would do that. The rest of them all hanging there, just behaving themselves just great. Just this one particular pair of boots was was doing this. So again, very odd. Put it back up there. I'm scratching my head trying to figure out what would have made these boots do this. Still, to this day, don't know what would have caused it. And I didn't take, I wish I had taken pictures of where they were. I didn't do it at the time. But after that second time, like, okay, something very strange is going on. So it happened a third time. And so I've got some pictures because this happened. This wasn't like a one off or two off. I want to say this happened almost a half dozen times uh, when I owned these boots that I would find one off. And, you know, they, it ne I never saw them travel as far as they did that first time. But one would come off, or sometimes just one would come off, the other one still be on there. Just odd times that it, you know, over a period of maybe a couple months, this these things about a half dozen times. To the point, it kind of freaked me enough that I thought, okay, next yard sale we had, those boots left. They belong to somebody else now, gone out of the house. Uh, and that took care of the problem. I got bought new boots, put them in the same spot, stayed there, never moved. From that point on, no issues with any of the other boots. Just that one particular set of boots. I don't know if they were walking back to try and find the original owner. I don't know if he was attached to them and was trying to get back home. I I don't know. I know maybe for whatever reason somebody was, you know, sleepwalking. Maybe we had a weird air current, which is impossible because the windows wouldn't open in the bedroom, uh, kind of scenario going on. I don't know, other than I know that that was very, very strange. It hasn't happened to boots that I had before or since. I've still got cowboy boots. They're up on a shelf now. They stay on the shelf uh, to the point I know they don't move because I have to get up there and dust and you can definitely see where they've been there collecting dust for a while. So what it was with those boots, I don't know. I would love to find out if whoever bought them had that same issue with those particular boots. But it was just something that was very, very odd. And again, to this day, I cannot explain why those boots were so hell-bent on getting off of that rack and go in someplace else. But I hope they're happy now. I'm just glad they're out of my house. So stay tuned for next Wednesday when we'll have another Weird Wednesday. And keep looking up, keep looking around, and I'll see you then. Thank you.